what's up warriors welcome back to another video thanks so much for tuning in once more and again honey all right you guys so <laughs> your girl is on a roll what is this like video number four what i'm feeling like with these bloggy blows back to back Okay, y'all, so I said I was coming back. I said I was back on the vlog, so here I am again. So today's video, I don't have nothing really going on. I'm about to get ready and throw some clothes on. Well, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm not going to put no clothes on. Wash some clothes real quick. Throw some clothes in the washing machine, and then I'm going to run over my mom's house for a couple of hours before I have to go pick the kids up and go chill with her for a little bit and that's it that's all i have on my agenda today i went to target earlier and i went to she could to give me some lunch so y'all missed that ride you better be glad because you ain't had to give me no gas money but it's all good in the neighborhood but i'm gonna show y'all what my husband got me Y'all, I'm slimy. Hold on. Okay, anyways, y'all, if y'all don't follow me on TikTok, please go ahead and follow me on TikTok right now because your girl been posting on TikTok as well. I've been, you know, just join me while the fun is here because y'all know I be slacking, okay? So, um, my husband had got me like a little just because give. He got me some edible arrangements and I have a whole little vulnerable moment on TikTok or whatever where I talk about it. And then like a couple days later, he got me some roses. So I'm gonna go take y'all in here so y'all can see my roses. They so pretty. Okay, y'all, so he got my roses. Oh, they're so pretty. Well, of course y'all already know what roses look like, but y'all don't know what mine look like. They, they are still alive and they've been here for like three days now. These two cards. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so sweet. He y'all listen, he's not big at writing in cards, but lately he's been like giving me little sweet messages, and it's so sweet. Y'all been appreciating it. So I ain't gonna show y'all what he wrote because it ain't y'all business. But it's y'all business that he did something sweet to me. So if y'all husbands, boyfriends, baby daddies, side, whoever ain't doing that for y'all, then he needs to go. <laughs> y'all don't know why I'm so hyped this morning. But let me go ahead and put these clothes in a washing machine. Y'all gonna come with me? Y'all gonna come with me. So if I wash, is y'all gonna fold? Because I'm trying to figure out what y'all end the deal. If I wash, y'all gonna fold. Okay? That sound like a plan. Capiche? Capiche. Let's go. Whew. Okay, so I just had to pick up these little clothes from the floor. And when the kids got dressed in the living room this morning, it's just, this house is a hot mess. It ain't nothing new. It ain't as bad. So now I had washed the dishes before she left, so. It ain't that bad, but let me go back here and see what they got in a room as far as dirty clothes before I put these clothes in the washing machine. Oh, look at King. He got his little his little uniform hanging up for his gang. He's so excited, y'all. Okay, well, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing in here on a flow. No dirty clothes in here. Okay, so let me go. Don't listen to wash my machine. Your girl needs to clean up. Needs to clean up. Y'all look. I don't know if I even recorded me doing this, but y'all know TikTok made me do it. I had to I had to buy the little scent beads. And I got them inside this little container. So I've been using these lately. I remember a few like a long time ago, like last year sometime, I had my little laundry detergent inside of that. And I had my fabric softener inside the other one. That's how I had it set up before. Or whatever. I got 5,000 pillows sitting over here. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Because I wash the pillowcases and never put them back on the pillow. That's why. Mind your business. Mind y'all business. I be so nosy. I wasn't feeling good. I was a little bit under the weather. But I feel better today. I'm not 110%, but I'm 99. I deal with 99% for now. But it seemed like in the middle of the night is when I really start feeling like achy or whatever and what, what not. So, yeah. So, I got that washing machine started. It's going. I'm finna go ahead and, um, I guess, like, put on some deodorant and brush my teeth. I guess. Get my life together, kind of, because I'm keeping this bonnet on, baby. I'm just popping up at the door like this, okay? So, I just got through, fil I just got through filming, well, editing my last video. This is the Get Ready With Me video. 
I had some Chick-fil-A earlier today, so don't judge me. This is what I got going on on my bed, so. Yeah, exactly what I said my husband not to do is what I do when he's at work, so. Good thing he don't watch my vlogs. He won't know I said that. Watch my teeth real quick, y'all. So, yeah. My husband has been being so sweet to me lately. He's trying to say he been mean and like that, but. Baby boy, he been doing his thing. Y'all, he also got my truck clean. I'm super excited about this. Cause baby, this thing was looking so dusty. It has been a couple months. The inside was so trashed. Me and the kids destroyed it, as per usual. But he went and got a detail just today. So I am rotten clean, honey. Baby, I may just open the sunroof today, okay? No, it's too hot. We in Florida, it's too hot for this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yes, you guys, excuse my Chick-fil-A cup. I just put that in here, so don't don't worry about that. Don't be worrying about that. But yes, so clean. I was going to like clean it myself and do a whole little video of me cleaning it. But he ended up doing it before I got a chance to. He was like, I was just going to see how long it was going to take before you clean it yourself. I was like, and I was just trying to see how long it was going to take before you felt bad enough to do it yourself. So, <laughs> look who won. <laughs> yeah, girl. Okay. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and ride out. Um, Yeah, let's ride out. Um, Oh, my goodness, y'all. So, I just seen last night that Portia Williams will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta teardrop i'm super sad about that how y'all feel y'all leave in the comment section if y'all was ever a real housewives of atlanta fan yeah y'all i'm, I'm kind of sad because they really ain't got nobody on their left like who are we going to watch because candy storyline is like okay all right it's not really like something intriguing and then you have well nobody else because candy's got took off the show cynthia got took off the show neither one of them have no storyline and then you just got Portia left. And Portia was like, the storyline. Like, she brought the laughter. She was, baby, she was reading people. She was definitely hilarious. Like, I liked her personality. Now, don't get me wrong. When she first came on the show, 10 or how many ever years ago, I did not care for her that much. I thought she was real dingy. I was like, mm, I really like this girl. She's very aggravating. But it, but she grew on me, y'all. Like for real, she did grow on me. Like it's so funny because my husband be like, "You was acting like you didn't like that girl, but now all of a sudden you a Porsche fan." This was like years ago. He made this comment, but she grew on me. You know how sometimes she'd be like, mm, "I don't know," but then I realized she just goofy, just like I am. Like she goofy in real life. Like I feel like I know her for real, but I don't. But how y'all feel about her leaving? I'm excited about her new endeavors that she's going to be in, getting into. And I can't wait to see uh, what all that's going to entail. Because I know she's going to have some things up her sleeve. I already know she do. Because it's my homegirl. She be calling me and stuff like that. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of sad about that. I'm definitely not going to be watching it. Because I definitely did not like y'all girl who had came on there. Um... What what season was that? Last season? Oh, what's her name? The YouTuber? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Um, T Tasha? Toya? Toya. Latoya Forever. So she's a YouTuber or whatever, right? So I used to watch her years ago when her, her, her and her husband together. When I say years ago, y'all, I mean like years ago. Like when I was in the military years. Like when I was active duty years ago. And I got out in 2012. And I used to watch her like a long time ago. But... I used to actually like think her and her husband, I used to like her channel because it was like relatable. Her and her husband, they had kids and she got pregnant and I watched her journey through her pregnancies and her stuff like that. So I like watched her vlogs and I thought their connection was so genuine. I loved them. Then when she came on the Housewives, I hadn't watched her vlogs and her channel in like a couple years, right? So I had, so I wasn't like caught up with Latoya when she had going on. So when I had seen her on Housewives and how she was acting, I was like, she's really trying to put on for the city, baby, because she's trying to be on this rich. She wanted a, a dang on peach so bad. 
she was just showing her tail. I did not like her. She just seemed so dis disgenuine. She seemed real, um, like, she was trying too hard for me, y'all. It was kind of like, girl, just sit down somewhere. We already got Portia. Portia's already our, um, the one on the show, okay? So you can sit down. But now that Portia is gone from the show, I wonder if Toya have more of a, you know, because she a backstabber. And I feel like, just for rating purposes, Bravo will try to be funny and bring her on the show for real. And we all know that that would not be a replacement, honey, at all. And speaking of Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, we, we have to speak on our OG Miss Nene Leakes, baby, okay? Because Nene Leakes is the life, honey. I love me some Nene Leakes, baby, okay? I love her. She was definitely very messy. And she could never t take ownership of nothing she did. She never saw herself in any, like, bad light. It was hard for her to ever apologize. Like, she was, like, borderline psychotic. But I still loved her to life, okay? She definitely, you know, had her ups and downs. But I'm really bringing her name up just to give condolences to her and her family that lost her husband, Mr. Gregory. He, I'm saying his whole government name like I know him. I I'm guessing his whole name was Gregory. But Greg is what we know him of, know him as on the show. But rest in peace, Greg. Um, he was definitely a fighter. I don't want to get too like sad, so we're just gonna move on from that. But I definitely have to um, give her some condolences to her family, her, their children, all those involved, and all those that's touched by the loss of him. Um, cancer definitely does suck, for real. Oh, okay. So, on another note, leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay, we just gonna chit chat while I ride, alright, so, is that okay with y'all? Like, y'all ain't had to put no gas in the car, y'all ain't had to do nothing, y'all need to just have y'all seatbelts on and sit down and don't touch the doors, okay, because the child locks his own regardless. But anyway, so, moving on from Real Housewives of Atlanta, huh, what else I been watching, y'all? I don't know, but I'm I am just really sad about where Housewives of Atlanta girl. When when Phaedra left, I was like, dang Phaedra left. And then it was just kinda like, okay, cool. And then Kim, nobody really cared about um what's her name? Kim? The one lady, what's her name? The, the um Target for the party. Whatever her name is, I think it was Kim. Baby, she was not a factor too. But Portia leaving, I'm sad. Nene leaving, I was sad. So I'm definitely probably not gonna be watching that show. But honey. Realty is Real Housewives of Potomac, okay? Now that is good. Oh, y'all, all of a sudden I got a little headache. All of a sudden it's like hurting real bad. Like back of my head. It's like all of my cheek and my eye. Left side. Um, the Real Housewives of Potomac, y'all, is so freaking good. That Karen. That grand dom, what she call herself, grand dom. She is a hot, terrible mess, baby. She, she is messy, baby. With that nose, be pushed up. I be wondering why she got always do her lips like this. Like she always doing this. She always be like, y'all. Is it just me or do I be watching them? Am I the only one who watch little things like that on people? Like little ticks or a little like certain little stuff bothering me about people, like. Not bothering me to the fact that I'm like, oh my god, it's bothering me. But I'm, I, I end up watching it. Like if it, ha if it's like con something that's constantly happening, happening. Like if you got like a twitch or something, I'm steady like looking at it. Like I'm so rude. I'm the child that you're supposed to be for staring at people that you ain't supposed to be staring at. That's me. I'm that child when I was a child. But no, for real, she always doing this. Like she, like when she was talking, she'll stop talking and she'd be like. I'm like, what, what are you doing, bro? Stop doing that with your lips. It's because of the injections or something. What, what is it? What, is you exercising? Like, what are you doing with your mouth? Can you stop? Oh, my God. But anyway, honey, that show was a whole hot mess, baby. What is the little girl name? The little girl name with the curly Ashley. Um, She grew on me. I did not like her season one when she came on there. The first season she was on there. which I definitely cannot stand Gazelle. Gazelle is the most messiest person ever. Like, I don't know if I don't like her or if I like, I ain't gonna say I don't like her, but she's very messy. And then, uh, what's her homegirl? Her and the other girl who kind of looks similar, but they got 
just because they got the same like similar eye color i can't even think robin robin and her together hmm, i don't really too much care i feel like they can at any moment get rid of robin and at any moment get rid of gazelle because neither one of them got no storyline for real for real and then i feel like they can keep caring and they can keep um what's the chick name who fought the girl that's not on the show no more and um she got the little music thing going they could probably keep her she got the little drama going over her husband being her um husbander aka manager they could probably keep her and then i don't know anybody else who else on there oh yeah no wendy is the non-mf factor i do not i absolutely do not like wendy i want to see her in public i'm not like that woman like she don't know who she want to be baby because baby when she first got there as everybody was trying to point out to her baby she came out acting like she was just bougie a wee wee baby she act like she was a top of the line professor she wanted the world to know that she was just this you know like top top b-i-t-c-h and she was the s-h-i-t i'm spelling it because i don't feel like cursing it's not of me right now <laughs> i ain't gonna say i don't curse i'm just not cursing at this moment okay but anyway she just really came off as a snotty just snobby like my like you know i'm just the bomb i you know it's okay to be confident that is a beautiful thing honey be confident rock yourself baby in a confident manner okay conduct carry yourself confidently all right but don't be acting like no snob but like acting like ugh, don't like her she can she can go get dismissed off the show she ain't got a storyline she got to be happy somebody brought up the fact that her husband is supposed to cheat it because now she got something to carry on to the next season like because at first it was like okay you want to make candles but i thought you was a professor at the prestigious college and you got your doctor's degree and oh my gosh and huh girl boss sit your behind down anyways <sighs> don't like her and i also do not like um the one chick that's like kept trying to play everybody's side that's new as well they got the husband that's older and they got the one child together and then she got the child before they got together whatever her name is i don't so much mess with her either she's just kind of fake to me she's seen wishy-washy she be jumping size too she ain't got no ground nowhere. She don't stand her ground nowhere she goes. She's very just in the mix, just whatever. Whatever goes, goes. I don't so much mess with her. Um, I don't even know her name. That's how non-factor she is. But um, I think I done went down a whole list of uh, people. But I do hope Robin and her husband gets married or boyfriend, ex-husband, whoever she is, baby daddy. I hope they end up getting married sometime soon for real because at this point we confused with their relationship. You know what I mean? No. But honey, I was laughing so hard because when she was talking about they was homeschooling and she was just like how she she'll get about the bed, wake them up and go back to sleep and wake up at two. Baby, Robin, if you see this video, I feel your life. That's me. Well, that was me when I was homeschooling them kids. It be tiresome you be doing that. Baby, your husband need to understand that it is depressing. <laughs> it's like you on the same schedule Monday through Friday. You're playing teacher, doctor, psychiatrist, wife, mom, counselor. I already said that you're, you're playing all types of roles during the day and then Monday to Friday so you be tired honey you be tired T-I-R-E-D T-I-Capital R-E-D okay you need to understand but babe, my husband looked at me like that's not like somebody I know and do and me and yes I do be sleeping in whenever I get the chance honey do not play like if I wasn't having if I wasn't leaving the house right now I'll be at the house rolling in my bed like it ain't nothing but say fan for yourself friday so y'all know i don't cook on fridays if you didn't know now you know so i'm gonna have to cook anything but my crazy button i went to target earlier today getting stuff to cook for dinner and i realized like you ain't gotta cook girl what you doing so but at least i got stuff to cook for saturday and sunday so i'm straight in monday i believe so yeah we good to go around here Okay, okay. So yeah. This is when I started not having nothing to say. I just keep saying so yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Um 
was I finna say? So yeah, so that shows what I've been watching. If you have not watched that, oh my gosh, y'all, my other show that I love to death is The Circle. The Circle is my junk. The Circle is my junk. Do you hear me? Listen to what I'm saying. The Circle is my junk. When I tell y'all, The Circle is my junk. Okay, so. I think I don't watch three seasons. I don't know how many seasons it's been all together, but I've watched three seasons and I watched this recent season. So the grand finale came out and the winner has been exposed. <laughs> and if you watch the circle and you have not watched the last season, last episode, you may want to shut this video off or fast. No, don't shut it off. Fast forward it. Okay. Fast forward it. But who won? Let me try that. Oh my gosh, y'all. So. James, how y'all feel? Who watched the circle? How do y'all feel about James winning the circle? How y'all feel about that? Because I'm like, dang, he came in there. I wanted Kay to win, my girl Kay. I feel like she was very genuine. She played her game, she did her thing. She definitely was a competitor. She definitely built genuine connections, but she was cut through at the same time. I was real sad to see Rakona, what's her name? So when Rukhsana left, she, I feel like somebody like in the back seat telling me all, all the names. <laughs> oh y'all, y'all in the comments helping me. Y'all helping me say the names. But anyway, I feel like it's a live video. Um, Rukhsana, she looked how I was sad. But I did not want James to win. Like, I like James. James was real cool. Like, I really did like him. He was new. Like, he deserved to win as well because he was on the show. He did do his thing. He definitely was um you know a good competitor as well but i just feel like k was there from day one i feel like anybody was gonna win it was gonna want this gonna be one of the day one people not somebody who came in it was there for like two days and then won. like what like i know he probably like okay it sucks for them not for me because okay nobody tell them not to be on their game but i'm so happy that ashley did not win or isabella they were so irritated i just hated any other catfish I don't not like the catfishes. I be like, ah, sh he was a, he almost ran me over. <laughs> it was not that deep. He 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 made it known he wasn't finna stop for my ass. I said I'm gonna cuss. But there you go. He made me do it. But um, James definitely, I hesitated too long and I went to the, I, I like pulled out at the last minute. It was on me. It was on me, it's cool though. But y'all for real, for real though, seriously. Um, James, I feel like Kay should've won, but he did, she did and James won. So congratulations to James for winning the circle. I'm excited for the next season. I love that show, honey, I really do. I love that show. It's my show. I've been watching it. I've been binge watching it for about a day. Um, what else? So that's pretty much it. I don't have nothing else to talk about. So I'm about to get ready and be at my mom's house in just a little bit. So I'll just go ahead and get back on here whenever I leave her house and I'm on my way to go pick up the kids. So I hope y'all enjoy my little rants and raves at this point. And I hope y'all, you know, are connected with me. If y'all not subscribed to my channel, what y'all waiting on? What is y'all waiting on? I'm like so confused y'all should have been subscribed but it's okay it's cool though if you're new to my channel welcome welcome my babies honey i really appreciate y'all coming over and joining the warrior squad we have lots and lots of fun here i was missing for like four months but i'm back and i've been back like never before dropping videos like boom 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 okay but i don't know why i gotta be so animated so Oh my god, I didn't even call my husband and tell him I was leaving the house. He don't even know I'm gone. I could be kidding now. He won't even know. I'm in here talking to y'all. I didn't even call my husband or the dang on cleaners. Let me get off the phone. I'm distracted talking to y'all. But I'll talk to y'all in just a little bit. I'll be back. All right, you guys. So I am done. I just got back from my mom's house. And we decided we're going to go to the Martin Lawrence, con uh, Martin Lawrence Lit AF show. So, I'm about to go home and take a shower and get all that stuff set up for that. So, that's going to be in the next vloggy vlog. But, yeah. So, I just picked the kids up. And Quincy had picture day. They both had picture day today. And Quincy was like, um, how he was going to pose in his camera. And him and daddy was like, saying this morning how 
he was gonna pose in his picture. And how you was gonna pose, Quincy? <laughs> so, so he get in the car talking about mommy. They wouldn't let me pose like I wanted to pose in my picture. They what they tell you, Quincy? Put your hand down. <laughs> They was yelling at you like that? Yeah. They need to stop it. Why well, was they, they ain't had to say it all like that. That was too funny though. They told my baby, put your hands down. <laughs> That's how you wanted to take your picture. That's okay, we're gonna take family pictures and you can put your hands like that, all right? They were just hating. But I just had to get on here and tell y'all that real quick. I'll get back on here when I get back home. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm finally back home. Let me put these clothes in the dryer. Then I need to walk Vegas. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to do something that may end up being a very bad idea, but all right. So long story short, we don't have a fence, right? And we have this dog. And I'm sick of him pulling me whenever I go take him for a walk. So what I'm deciding to do is just let him out in the backyard because he's getting older and I think he's getting more smarter and he's starting to um, do more things that make sense. What I'm about to do is give him some water, let him out his cage, um, run around in the backyard by himself. But I'm gonna be out there with him. So I'm just gonna literally let him out to see if he run out and pee. And I'm gonna have his little snacks as bribery. So let me get his leash and get him out the cage. So we don't know how this is gonna go. I just hope I don't have to chase after him. Cause if he makes me chase him, when I catch him, I'm gonna tear him up like he late for dinner. Okay, so Vegas, please don't embarrass me, okay? You gonna be good? Look at him. Are you gonna be good? Yes? Yeah, I know you are. Okay, don't embarrass me, Vegas. Don't embarrass me. He don't pee and poop in his cage, like, as long as he's cooking out in the morning. Wait, come here. Look, he's sitting down. And the cage door is open, but he won't come out, so I open it all the way. Come here. He got a stretch. <laughs> Hold on, Vegas. Hold on. Wait. He going right to his bowl. You ain't got no food in there right now. You just got you. You ready to go outside? Oh, he ready to go outside. All right, come on. Come on. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Get, get down. Those snacks ain't up there. He think. Usually we go to the front door, but this time I'm gonna take him back here so I can see how he do. Got my shoe. No! Why he gotta play? Come on. Come on. Let's go outside. Eh! Put it down. Drop it. What you just put in your mouth? See, this is a bad idea. Y'all finna be chasing him. Why am I doing this to myself? Come on, Vegas. Okay, Lord. This is a dumb idea. Let me try to set this camera. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get your leash off. Come here. He out there. Let's see how long. Let's see how he do. He looking at me like, is you gonna come too? He out there, y'all see him? He finna pee. I'm gonna get my snack ready. Come on, Vegas. There he go, he peeing. He peeing, y'all, he peeing. Look. Good boy. Now come back. Oh, that's a long pee. He peeing like a grown man, y'all. Do it like it's your beat day. Do it like it's your beat day. He coming right back. Good boy. Good boy. He gonna get a snack. Uh-oh, he noticed his snacks. You better not try to steal them and run. <laughs> I'm gonna get you one. Sit, 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 sit. I'm gonna get you one. Sit. Sit, hold on, let, let me zoom out, hold on. I got your whole big old face in there. Stay, stay, okay. I gotta walk him back here because 
the kids be acting scared. King and Quincy be acting like they got to run. And I don't feel like chasing fakers. As soon as he see the kids, he gonna run after them. Come on. You're not going that way. You finna go back in here. See? He trying to run in their room. Come here. Look. As soon as he get in here, he take off running to them. Come on, Vegas. That's why I put his leash on him so he don't knock Quincy down. Come on. I'm gonna put y'all back. Hold on. Ooh, y'all, I made it. Y'all thought I was gonna have to chase after him, but baby, he went right out there, peed, then his thing came back. That's my first time ever doing that with him, because usually I, like, leash him up, take him all the way down the street, walk him, bring him back. But, honey, if he can run out there and come back, especially when I'm working, and I have to get up in the middle of the day before I pick kids from school and break my sleep, Instead of me having to like fully get dressed, I could just like stand at this door and let him go do his business. He come back in and if he poop, I can just pick it up later on. I don't gotta pick it up right away because why? It's my yard. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I think that includes today's video. I don't have nothing else going and probably relax before I have to go pick up my mom and we go to the Martin Lewis concert. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And make sure you hit that bell notification. It's updated to whenever I upload a new video. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. No. Thanks for watching. No recording. No recording? Yeah. Why? Because that is that. Huh? No recording. Why do you say no recording? Because no recording. You crazy. You crazy. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all.